best I've ever been again! Oh, DRS, I've got DRS! I forgot that I control the DRS! I'm about to answer that question for you. Well, I'm definitely not playing Drive Club as much as I did when it first came out, and as we basically only race a game available on the PlayStation 4 that was actually any good. Looking at you, Need for Speed Rivals. I don't come back to Need for Speed Rivals anywhere near as much, even though it is a fun game in some ways, as I do Drive Club. Or any other game. I don't go back to the original The Crew. I don't go back to any of the other Horizons or anything like that. I'm pretty modern when it comes to not going back on game. Drive Club is something different. So I'm going to jump in today and show you exactly why by playing. Welcome back to the rain and the wet. I'm not any professional kind of driver. That's it's not, it's not what I do. I'm not like some kind of sim racer. I'm much more usually with the arcade kind of stuff. And that's, I think, where my passion for Drive Club comes in. Because at the beginning, I've got to be honest, I was really skeptical about Drive Club. I was like, why would you want a track racer that is not simulation? That doesn't make any sense. But it makes total sense. I was blindsided by the fact of, oh, we want realistic, we want... Graphics, we want all this. Yes, it had those things. It wasn't realistic in any way. The cars handle strangely sometimes, to say the least. But this game is in the name of fun track racers. Project Gotham Racing is the first that comes to mind when I'm playing Drive Club. It's that type of perfect formula that's just made for pure fun. And that's what games are supposed to be about. We don't need no simulation. We don't even need to drive fast cars. For the game to feel intense and that's something so many games struggle to do the sense of speed in a little car like this feels leaps and bounds better that's a wall i've played a lot of gran turismo and forza motorsport those two are probably the most closely comparable forza motorsport definitely more so because it is trying to be more of a everyone can play this game it's that weird hybrid simulation arcade which I guess Drive Club, it's on a similar scale. It's the closest scale we can really say. I think one of the major points, and this is something I, I, I appreciate about games that don't throw cars out there. They all kind of feel different. And that's, to me, much more important than having a mass collection of cars. Like, sure, I would love there to be a million bajillion cars, but if they all feel the same, why would I bother driving all of them? These are all gonna feel pretty similar. Uh, <laughs> because they are pretty similar, we're going to jump into AMG GT. I'm probably going to die, but that's what it's all about. Race of the Mercs is off. We're going, I think it's all Mercedes. It is all Mercedes and nothing but. And we're taking this man right here. I can actually control the camera with the wheel, which is nice. Oh! He's holding it. Way too wide there. <laughs> holding my position, though. Come on, Mark! Get the speed going! These are the races where I start to get even more it gets even more intense. The AI is among some of the best I've ever been against! They do not care about hitting people. They will do their absolute best to pass you. They're kind of brain dead in, in, in some aspects, but in the same rate. They're not, they're like angry American drivers. Second lap, I haven't got anywhere. <laughs> I, I have trouble coming back to this game from playing others. It is, again, I've been praising it. This video is about the praise of Drive Club. I do struggle to come back to this unique handling model every single time that I've been playing a bunch of other games. So the point is I do. Oh! I restarted. I I don't want the only video where I'm talking sense on Drive Club to be one where I am driving like Pac-Man Machis. I'm still driving like Pac-Man Machis. It could be worse. Currently in fifth. I think that's a pretty decent place to be. Come on! Give him the one-two! Oh! Come on then! This is it, boys! We're gonna pass them! Don't hit the things, they slow you down a lot. <laughs> They're coming up to the corner. Break. 
Oh, they're trying to get their spot back. Bit of a skid. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Eat him alive! Just one left in here to munch, to munch upon. I will eat, oh, I will eat you for picking the wrong color car. Let's go, oh, we're losing it a bit there. And break. That was awful, it's okay though. I think we might pass him still. Oh! No, 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 no! Damn it! Oh, I'm being passed even more now. I was not made for, for this much intensity. My normal racing style, as you know, is... No! Do you know what? This is what games like this should be about. I miss the days of being able to mess up like this. This is on like the baseline difficulty. I'm not on the, I'm on assisted wheel, I think. I miss being able to fail. Forza in a way with the rewind system makes us a little bit lazier. I feel like in general, it's made us lazier in that if we fail a race, we think, oh, the game is bad. Do you know how many times we cried as children or adults playing Need for Speed Carbon on the final events? If you, there were like four events at the end of the game and if you got through one, two and couldn't do three and you had to upgrade, oh no, I would have had to restart all of the events. That is what I miss. Yes, it makes you angry, but developers, I want to be bad. I want to mess up. I want to make mistakes. So when I overcome those mistakes, oh, it's the it's better than sex. I'm not gonna sit here and say that the game is perfect because it definitely isn't. It has some pretty big flaws in the fact that, well, now it's dead, it's not supported anymore. So did you just smash my window? And there isn't really any proper customization. I mean, that's a pretty big fundamental issue. There's no tuning for crying out loud, which to me is like the base level of what you need. Where's my curves button? Oh, DRS, I've got DRS. I forgot that I control the DRS as well. <laughs> Can you imagine if you control DRS and stuff on Forza? That would be amazing. I would love to see that. And the wing. Curse. Oh, we're going to slip. We shouldn't be doing it in a corner like this. I'm not using a Josh. Go away. Have a nice body. DRS. We're going to get that speed. They're probably using curves right now because they're pulling away. Oh, they're just drafting. It doesn't matter, it feels good. Oh. And it comes off when you break, which is rather nice. And the brakes are insane. I haven't actually played a lot of the VR version, which every time I come back onto this game, I am so freaking tempted, so freaking tempted to just give it all a go again, play through the whole thing. I haven't even finished the main game, to be totally honest with you. It's one of those where Again, I'm going to be honest, the event structure isn't really for me. I don't like the whole, like, repeating events over and over. I, I, I get it. It's, you know, a limited amount of tracks, whatever. I get that. At least they do vary challenges and stuff, but I'm never really going to complete all of them because that's not particularly my favorite thing. I'm, I'm, it's not my thing. It's the same with when I come to uh, Forza, when I come to any track racer. I'm really probably not going to play all your events, sorry. Oh, I slipped! But I brought it back. Give us the, give us the boost member cheese. Because we're in ninth place. Beaten by the Hennessy Venom. Oh, I don't know. Not very good. <laughs> but it doesn't matter because I've already done it once before. They also introduced an easier mode because the game got so difficult. I forgot about that. I don't know why I've been doing it on standard. Standard is it's too hard. But these were all the DLC ones they added, and these are the original. There's a lot of events in here. If, if this is not a game you have played, I would seriously highly recommend that you do. Um, just to show PlayStation and Sony that they made a massive mistake closing the studio. Um, I say that every video I make, but it's true. They made such a huge mistake. Thanks for watching the video. Hopefully you enjoyed. I want to do more wheel setup videos in the future and now because it's now much easier for me to also what should i do with this blank wall i'm trying to decide what to do do i put some just soundproof paneling along the wall do i put some artwork something let me know if you enjoyed please smash like subscribe if you're new 
and I will see you in the next video. Peace.